今の説明をしてもらうその上で今のこの時間13日17時までにタイムマシンを修理する当てはあるの今から2時間もがくよりはマシという程度だ直せなければ何度でも2日間を繰り返せばいいごめんタイターよお前には必ず IBN5100 を手に入れてもらわなければならないこれはお前のためでも未来のためでもないあくまでマユリを助けるためのミッションであることを忘れる独善的だと言いたければ言えばいいだが誰のサシズも受ける気はないクリスチャンスーザーはギャプネッ作戦開始だ作戦名は言わないのか Who cares about that? This is a game, Mayu's life hangs in the balance. Hoku o Shinwa, the E naming the Koko, and it's Karanakata. Nanda Hoku o Shinwa? Sky in your night on the Ite Yunara, Chuni Bio Kanjawa, Geruman K naming the Daisuki da Karat, the Tokorojana. So Yeba, Atashinaita Registers them. Saksemi, what on the Geruman K no naming the Dutta? Nanda the Kitaro. これは伝統だとかなんとか言われた26人後にも中二病患者っているんだなくだらない会話をしているなマリーズ life lies life hangs in the balance there's no time for this nonsense クリスウ sets up the time leap machine while スーザー goes to turn on the 42HCRT well before マリー returns I leave When I come to, I'm standing with my phone in my hand. While I wait for the ringing in my ears to subside, I check the date and time on my phone screen. August 11, 2.21pm. Alright, now we have two more days. As a matter of fact, I leapt twice, first at 2pm on the 13th when the machine was completed. From there, I leapt an additional 48 hours to 2pm on the 11th. It was my first consecutive leap, but it seems to have gone well. I immediately head downstairs to see Suza. I'm relieved to see that her hand isn't burnt. When I explain the situation, Suza races to Radio Kikan to confirm my story. When she realizes that I'm telling the truth, I take her back to the lab and have her repeat the explanation she gave us before I time leaped. We come to the conclusion that we all can do right. No. All we can do right now is to try our best to repair Suza's time machine. Daddy was unusually enthusiastic. I guess Suza's talk of attractor fields and diversions and correcting history's mistakes got his blood pumping. 
Alrighty, stop this is we're about to leave the lab. Alright. Oh, I thought Chuzo was lying about that. But when I turned to her, she looked away. When I show reluctance, my only puss out cheek. What well, promise? That's right. We convinced her to stay by promising to help look for her father. So, Mighty feels that strongly about it, then there's no way I can refuse it. Suda sniffled. ほんとにいるのかいるよきっとレだなこの時代ならきっとまだ若くてかっこいいね名前はバレルタイターだったかうんそうああ外国人さんうん多分日本人バレルタイターはレジスタンス時代のコードネーム so that's why Suza called herself John Titor. Suza looks like she's about to cry for an instant, but she quickly covers it bit with a bitter smile. You think that I realize how hellish the world she came from must be? Suza claps her hands together and starts patting her pockets. A few seconds later, she reaches into one and pulls out. I've seen Suza fiddling with it before. It's just a regular pin, they can't just stick on your hat or bag. It reads OSHM asterisk 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 A7010. Dari runs a search, but you're only getting comprehensible foreign sites. He now has to search down to Japanese sites. But even then, none of the results look valid. With Suzu's permission, I take a picture of the pen. I want to argue that there's no time for that, but Mayuri's right when she says that the time machine won't be ready for a while. Guess there's no harm in letting her have her way. After all, there's no point in running, not even with two days head start, even if I drive Mayuri to the ends of the earth, who wouldn't be able to escape her death, I know that now. Okay, 
That dude raises his hand in agreement. So does Chris. It's decided. We'll help Suza find her father. It's a relief to hear Suza say that. で、どうやって探すんの? It's hard to sneak into Radio Kikan in the daytime. There isn't a crowd out front like before, but pedestrian traffic remains constant. It takes us about 30 minutes to find a way in. Kusu is back at the lab working on the time leap machine. It needs to be complete by 2pm on the 13th. If she's late, it could affect my ability to time leap, which would lower my chances of saving Mayuri. Speaking of Mayuri, she wandered off somewhere in search of Suzo's father. Doda. I call to Daru, who's examining the flooded satellite, I mean time machine, while Suza and I keep a lookout. Daru crawls out of the time machine, he's covered in sweat and he's breathing his heavy. We quickly help pull his huge body out. The time machine is completely visible from the street. If someone were to see us up here, they might report us to the police. It's been two weeks since the satellite appeared, but Akiba still has tourists who come just to see it. We need to take care not to be noticed. <laughs> The time machine is balanced precariously on the ledge, but the police have hooked it up to su with support wire, so that it probably has nothing to worry about. Naorisawa? これって何か電話レンジと似てるかもって。じゃあ、直せる可能性もあるんだな。いや、だから確証はないって。もうちょっと調べないと。誰スーパーハカ。全ては。お前の腕にかかっていると言っていい。世界を救ったスーパーハカ
We can't use lights because that would be too conspicuous to the people of the world. My dear isn't around. Is she making any progress in the search of for Suzu's father? I start up Dario's computer and search the network communities of people who collect unique pins. I'll investigate tomorrow based on the information I find. There's a pin collecting group on a site called Freight Pada, where everyone shows off their collections. I post that asking for information. I'm sleeping on the couch when a loud alarm rings in my ears. I jump up and see Krishu and Suza. Krishu is holding her phone, that's the source of the sound. Good morning. Her sour expression says it's not good at all. I wish she'd put herself in my shoes and see what it's like to be woken up si suddenly like that. I check the time on my phone. She said before 7 a.m. Oh, I realized that there's a strange object sitting on the table in front of me. This is a divergent The meter display is 0.336716%。私が元々いた2036年の世界線を0%としたスーチだから、あくまで相対的なものなんだけどさ。作ったのか。うん。2036年から持ってきた。うん。これは2期シーカンだな。いいセンサー。未来ガジェット9号に認定した
The shopkeeper is a foreigner covered in tattoos. The table next to him is covered with accessories and other fashionable items. This is the first time I've seen this is a stylish sheet and street stand in Akiba. Most vendors just sell random crap. It's not like I have anything to lose, so I walk over and check out the selection. Among the various accessories, I see a number of metal pins. Not a coincidence, could you have a pin like Suzar's? I don't see the OSHM-710 logo in any of the displayed accessories, but I'd better ask just to be sure. Um, he's a foreigner, so maybe I should use English? Her eyes meet. His eyes are as bright and blue as the sky. I quickly look away. Damn! He must think I'm a coward! Better get this over with. Hey, master! I am mad scientist. So cool! Son of a bitch! Can I help you? He smiles, a white toothy smile, nice teeth, and answers in Japanese. I was hoping for more of a reaction. <laughs> I take the, photo the photocopy of Suzu's pen out of my mouth. The man stares at it for a while and then shrugs and shakes his head in an exaggerated manner typical of Westerners. Yeah, remember, remember. Mm, sorry, it's a little difficult, eh? What is he saying? By the way, where'd you get this thing? I sorry. He apologizes in broken Japanese. Let's say this is another dead end. Just in case, I give him my contact information and ask him to get in touch if he finds out anything. Then I turn and leave.